So I want to continue on with the idea of poetry here during Poetry Month. There's a very famous quote by Rudine Seems Bishop that talks about how we need literature, and I've talked about this before even, we need literature to be for us, <clears throat> we need it to be uh, a window, right, where we can see the world outside of us. We need it to be a mirror to reflect back so we can see ourselves, and we also need it to be a sliding glass door to allow us to move forward into a different understanding of the world, right? Um, the idea behind that is not only that we need to see ourselves in literature, which is very, very important, but also, and, and why, and by the way, why we need diverse literature, right? We need literature that reflects multiple experiences, multiple uh, races, ethnicities, gender, sexual orientations, uh, religions. We need literature that reflects those so that every student can see themselves in the books that they read right? I'll get off that soapbox and get on a different one. But also it talks about how literature has the ability to help us to see a world that we don't understand, right? So like, for instance, I am a 30, 38 year old white guy, uh, uh, married to a woman. Uh, I, I have a specific faith. I have a specific, uh, racial background, those kinds of things, that, that's some of who I am, but I struggle to understand the world outside of myself because my experience is only my own. So the only way to experience the world differently is to experience it through others' eyes, through literature, through conversations, through relationship. Poetry, almost more than any other type of literature, has the power to, in just a few lines, uh, sort of inject us into a world beyond our own. Poetry is the ultimate expression of emotion and uh, the ultimate representation of that which is going on inside of us. It uses the power of figurative language, rhythm, and rhyme to communicate messages that might otherwise take thousands of pages. And so I want to share with you today a book of poetry that I think is very important uh, a book of poetry that this morning I turned on uh, uh, the author uh, pr performing one of his poems, um, and, it, and I, I wept <laughs> because it's powerful. And I'm talking about Javon Johnson's Ain't Never Not Been Black. Now, let me start by saying that this book was published by Button Poetry, and if you don't know Button Poetry, you should. Button Poetry pr publishes phenomenal chapbooks by a wide array of, of, of di very diverse poets. And they also have a YouTube channel in which they have collected performances of these poets performing their poems in a uh, slam fashion. These poems are so powerful. These are the poems that I think can bridge the gap for people who have fallen out of love with poetry, fallen out of love with literature, don't believe in its power, and they watch these poems and they see that poetry is power. So Ain't Never Not Been Black is Javon Johnson talking about his own experience as a black man, talking about growing up in the black community, talking about his family, his friends, his experiences. And the poem that got me crying this morning, the poem I'm going to talk just very briefly about is a poem called Cause He's Black. And Cause He's Black sees Javon in the car with his nephew. And his nephew, like many young children, is asking lots of questions. Why is the sky blue, et cetera, et cetera. And like many <laughs> frazzled adults, he is trying his best to answer those questions uh, as, as quickly as they come in. Until they pass a police officer and Javon's nephew feels the need to shrink down in his seat out of fear. And Javon wrestles with, tr he wants his son to know you do not need to be afraid of the cops, but he has had experiences that, that have taught him otherwise. Now, it's important for me to be very clear that I am not anti-police officer. I have family members that are police officers. I am pro-police officer. But my experience might be different than other people. And not only that, there are, just like in every career, there are bad people that give that, that career a, a bad reputation. I think it's important for us to read those experiences and to understand the world from a viewpoint other than ours. And that's one reason why I think it's so important that you pick up Ain't Never Not Been Black and you read this book of poetry. You need to go find it. You need to pick it up.